What's up guys? Thank you for coming back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to answer a quick question. Should you run your ads on Instagram and Facebook in one campaign? And let me explain. Here's what I mean. A client asked me, will my ads, if I'm selecting a placement on Facebook and selecting a placement on Instagram in the exact same ad set, will my ad show up on Instagram? Well, the answer is yes. But here's the thing. When you create your image or your video, first of all, let's start there. When you create the image or the video, the creative, it's going to be either to the dimensions of the Facebook news feed, the Facebook story, or whatever platform you're primarily thinking of going after. The dimensions of your creative should respect that platform as a primary, as a primary platform. Second, if you uh, customize your creative for that platform, platform let's say facebook newsfeed platform if it's custom for that platform but then you also select an instagram placement well that creative when it shows up in instagram one or two things is going to happen depending on if that person is um on their phone their ipad or desktop whatever the case is depending on where they're doing instagram we all know 99% of the people who do Instagram are on their mobile phone. And so with that said, um, the creative that shows up in Instagram, it may not show up the way you want it to show up, like all four corners actually looking perfect within Instagram. It could be cut off. It could be cropped. Um, a lot of things can go wrong with your creative, especially if you put a decent amount of time into it to have it show up the way you want it displayed on Facebook, on the Facebook news feed. On the other hand, like, you know, you can destroy good creative by selecting way too many platforms that that creative is not customized for, for uh, a dimension standpoint. And then let's talk about the copy. If the copy is spaced out on the uh, the Facebook news feed, then when it shows up in Instagram, it's going to be all jumbled together. In one instance, one of my clients was running uh, a copy on the Facebook news feed, and it also had a link in there in, for the Facebook news feed, which, you know, is clickable. But in Instagram, when that same link shows up in the text on an Instagram platform, that text that not the text but the um the link is not clickable and so you have unnecessary information in there they can't copy it and paste it into a platform or anything like that so you may have the the copy and the creative optimized specifically for uh one placement in that ad set so it would not be to your advantage to select any additional platforms or placements within that same ad set if that creative is not for that primary placement. Now you can do it if you got a big budget, but if you are a small guy and every penny counts, trust me, you wanna go one placement per ad set. At least that's my strategy. A lot of people may have a different train of thought, but I'm talking about if you want to be targeted, and that's what marketing is about. It's about being targeted. Or you can be broad, but like I said, if you have a small budget or if you're a small guy, and by small guy, I mean you, you know, you're spending ten to $20,000 or you know, maybe five hundred to $10,000 a month, something like that, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, you want to select one platform, or I keep saying platform, one placement per ad set. And this is going to help everything go so much smoother. Your conversion rates, um, your click-through rates, the, the, the number of link clicks that you get, um, from an aesthetic standpoint, when people see your creative in that platform, 
or in that placement, uh, in that placement, right? Can't even think straight. But yeah, so uh, just remember, like the key to this video is whenever you set up your Facebook ad set, do not, and I repeat, do not. At least this is my train of thought, and this has worked out to my advantage, and I've seen cheaper leads, higher conversions, higher click-through rates with this by keeping this practice in mind. Don't include multiple placements in one ad set because it will not work out for you if you are trying to get high conversions, high click-through rates, um, you know, lots of link clicks and also if you're trying to build a retargeting audience so when you're building a retargeting audience you want to make sure that you reduce the amount of variables within that asset so that it ties back to your remarketing audience and you know that you've built the remarketing audience off of the Facebook news feed men who are 25 or women who are 26 and they like Campbell's soup that's a retargeting audience. And so I can get into retargeting strategies all day, but that's not the premise of this video. So again, whenever, just for best practice, whenever you're setting up your assets, please try not to select multiple placements within the same asset, even though Facebook wants you to do that. That's how they burn up your budget. And you'll see that click-through rate, or you may be spending... Uh, $5 on Instagram too much and then you can and you'll see that it is maybe because the creative isn't corresponding to that placement because it's not cut to the dimensions and it could also be the copy is you know not doing what it's supposed to do in that platform either so that's something to think about um, good luck with your Facebook strategy stay tuned into the channel and I'll be dropping some more videos.